name is Aaron. And I'm Jose. And we're the Borgian Brothers. And uh, this is a new video we're doing. Maybe it'll be like a series, but for just one video. It's called Games We Love. <laughs> <laughs> so basically in this video, we're going to be talking about um, either a theme or a genre of a game. And uh, we're going to pick four games in that in that theme. And we're going to say if we like the game. Like, we'll, we'll we're willing to play it, because it's pretty fun. Uh, we love the game, like, yeah, let's play it. Uh, we hate the game, like, <laughs> don't really want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's there, we'll be yeah. like, okay, what else is like, everyone uh, else playing? <laughs> or, uh, or can't wait to play the game, yeah. which is a game that we've heard about, but we just haven't, haven't played it yet, and we just want to try it. So, yeah, it's either like it, love it, hate it, or want to play it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this this theme we're doing for this one is because it's Halloween, is the uh, horror games and horror themed games and stuff. I kind of went loose with the horror. Like, I think anything that had monster or magic. I, I think feel like that's I, fine. Because, like, Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like, because if you just try to go straight horror, like, oh, this game's scary, I yeah. feel like it's too hard. So anything just Halloween themed also yeah. or just monsters or, I feel like any of it, it's fine. But uh, just to make it, like, a little more... Let's see how well we know each other. Like, <laughs> just gonna say, a game yeah. And I have to guess. One of us will say a game, and then the other will have to guess if it's the game that we like, love, hate, or want to play. And then we'll say what it is, and okay. we'll go from there. But uh, I guess I can just go first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, the first game I'm gonna talk about is. I feel like it's gonna be obvious. Uh huh. <laughs> Big Book of Madness. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, <laughs> if you want to guess. <laughs> I think you hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I feel like also we should say like a little clarification. Like it, it also, if we put it under the category of hate it, it doesn't necessarily mean we hate it. It just, we don't really want to play it yeah. or whatever. But I do feel like this one, I probably do kind of hate it. <laughs> so the Big Book of Madness is a game. Uh, it's a deck building game. Uh, yeah. and it's cooperative, like totally cooperative. Uh, where you're take on the role of students in a magical school and you opened up the big book of madness and monsters and different things come out and you have to try to use your spells to try to defeat the monsters, put them back into the book and you have like a certain amount of turns uh, or else the monsters will just escape. Yeah. But I found it to be extremely hard. <laughs> I think the first time we tried it, we kind of like, we're still going in, even though it's cooperative, mm. it's like we were still trying to win, because I think there was yeah. still like MVP or whatever. Something. And then like the next few times, we just went straight super co-op. It's like, mm. what spells do you need? What spells do I need? Uh -huh. like, trying to make sure like, we had enough well, stuff. Well, I can buy this one. It's like, no, don't buy that, because I have enough, barely enough money to buy that, uh -huh. so I'll buy this instead. And I still couldn't do it. It's like, <laughs> we, I think we only tried three times. Twice with me and you. Yeah. And then a third time with our friend, Christian. Yeah. But uh, like every single time we played, it just felt like it was impossible. Not like we didn't just, even get close. Yeah, like, not yeah. even just like, oh, it's kind of hard, but we got close. It was just like not even close. Like, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember if they had like an easy mode too. Like, maybe? I feel, I don't know. I just. <laughs> but why is the normal mode impossible? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny too. Like, when we were trying to research it afterwards, it uh -huh. sounded like no one had a really a, a easy time of it. Yeah. Like, it was always really difficult to where it was a no success or just uh -huh. very few success. And, like, that one post that had, like, one person saying, it's easy. And uh -huh. everyone was like, freaking out on him. It's like, no, like, <laughs> yeah. no one else thought like, it was yeah, easy. Like one person in the whole world. <laughs> on there. I was like, this game's easy. And everybody else was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Trolling. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't usually buy games without playing them. It's like we have a good group of uh, board, board game, game friends game. that someone buys a game or hears about a game and so someone gets it, it. And we could try it before. And if they have it and we've tried it and we like it, we'll probably end up buying it. Mm -hmm. But this is just one that I just saw and I thought it looked, it looked cool. cool. And I was yeah. like, it looks cool. And it's co op and magic. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try it. And, and uh, I feel like this one, this is the reason I don't do that. Like, <laughs> I broke my rule <laughs> and it destroyed the me. The first time you broke the rule. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my hated game. The Big Book of Madness. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see what game I'm going to choose for my list. Uh, I'm going to go with Fury of Dracula. Uh, well, I feel like I know, <laughs> know what it is, too. So I'm going to say, uh, what would I say? Like, love it. <laughs> Want to play it? Yeah! Because, <laughs> you know, I haven't tried yeah. it yet. But, yeah, I feel like I've seen this played, like, on tabletop and stuff, and just seeing the game and trying to hunt down Dracula and having that hidden role, mm. and everyone's, like, the detectives or whatever, like Van Helsing and all those, like, period uh. characters. It's, yeah, it seemed like a cool one I want to try. Like, I'd want to be Dracula to see if I can get away with it. Yeah. But it's one I never tried, but it looks really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, 
since we're going to keep talking about it, like, I, I have some stuff to say, but uh, I'll just go into mine, <laughs> okay. which is Fury of Dracula. <laughs> okay. So what do you think? <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't tried it either. Same one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but uh, like, like as I was saying, it's just the... Uh, when we first saw it, it was like, this seems cool, and it's the one versus many game where just one person's Dracula and everybody else is the hunters, like you said, like the uh-huh. Ben Helsing and the other people trying to capture him. And it's a hidden movement game also where we just right. don't know where Dracula is. Uh-huh. And uh, I feel like... It kind of reminds me of Scotland Yard, but like mm, a cooler version. But a cool theme, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like with Dracula <laughs> in the night um, and you can summon his minions and... Yeah. And uh, just anything I've, with cards and abilities yeah. and doing stuff. So I've seen, like, yeah. I've seen how it's played... Uh, it's not like I know all the rules, but I feel like it's fun. It looks it, fun, yeah. and I want to try it. Especially like you're saying, you could. I want to try Dracula. Try to just like sneak around and uh-huh. escape and try to destroy everybody. But I also would wouldn't mind like trying to find Dracula and Work kill together him or whatever. And, him, yeah. and, uh, and I think there's four editions out now. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think uh, there's like problems with it. Like uh, first edition is okay, and second edition they changed oh, some stuff. And third, okay. third, I think I heard third and fourth edition are pretty much the same, and you should get one of those two. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, oh, I want to try. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was yeah, that was mine. So. Oh yeah, it's back to me. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were really fast because that was the same one. Uh, um, next one, Dead of Winter. Dead of Winter. Uh, I'm gonna say you like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one of the like, I, I, any game that has like a story element to it, and this one has a lot of story with a whole deck of cards. Whenever something's happening. You're traveling to an area to get supplies and oh let's see if when the counter happens mm. see if the zombies hear you and just little story things that could trigger that you don't know because the next player mm. is just holding it waiting to see yeah. if you'll trigger it <laughs> and i feel like little things like that are kind of cool because it's like unexpected and little twists in the action and anything that has like co-op like that too i like even though it's the hidden roll thing where you can kind of be a traitor yeah. i'm like i feel like it's fun but some, it just depends on who you're playing, like the group of yeah. friends you're with, because sometimes people make it not so fun. Yeah. But. <laughs> we have the the hidden traitor element, so it's, it's co-op, but there's one person that could just be uh-huh. not co-op. <laughs> or even no one. Or even, but yeah. Just, like, I think, I think it's possible know. that no one could be yeah. a traitor, but you still have your own secret goal. You're still suspicious. So it, it looks like what you're doing is suspicious. Like, he's the traitor. It's like, no, I'm part of the group. I just, I'm trying to do my special uh-huh. secret goal. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, it's fun. Zombies just being winter and just like uh-huh. the way i feel like that game also has some like some crazy like conditions and stuff. like you're gonna die conditions yeah it's, it's like you have a uh, is it eight side die or 12 side die i don't remember but it's like when you just move from one location to yeah. another because you're going out to you the winter just, you just there's one uh is it oh, just death yeah yeah there's, there's one side on the die <laughs> where it just instantly kills you and, and then so, morale goes down and yeah it's, like, and oh. it's just like snowballing downhill <laughs> snowballing in the winter yeah <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun game. <laughs> like, it's a, it, it captures that feeling of being, like, in a settlement where everyone's mm-hmm. on edge and you don't know, you barely have enough supplies. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, the, the city morale is, like, all going down and everyone just doesn't know how they're going to get by. And it was weird because I think we had another friend play where they, with, like, a screenshot <laughs> where they, like, had max morale and this and all, everything they needed. And everything was, like, like, a paradise. I'm like, Utopia and Dead of Winter? No. Like, that never happens. Like, yeah. <laughs> Something went wrong. Uh-huh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's just a fun game, especially if, like, I think the first time we tried it, we tried with a different friend mm-hmm. who he didn't really understand. Like, we're all learning the rules, uh-huh. but he didn't understand the rules, and we're all like, uh, we're going to die, and we ended up dying, and we got overrun by the zombies. <laughs> and then we found out right after we died that he not only had, like, two cans oh, of gasoline, but also, like, two matches or lighter, so he had two times he could have just, like thrown a bomb and exploded. He didn't realize he could have like, yeah. saved the day and he was just thinking like, I'm going to save this for whatever. Yeah. Just... I, it might have been he saved it for the secret goal. I'm not I, sure. I think he just didn't Or he just he forgot he had it. it. <laughs> but yeah, it was, just, it was just funny. It was like, oh yeah, well, we got kind of close but we died. And he's like, I had these like, you could have saved us. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I made yeah. it funny just for when yeah. you flip the cards and we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That was mine. Dead of winter. I feel like <laughs> Because we play a lot of games together. <laughs> we have like and the because same, it's not like, we're, it's not like we're doing a top ten. So we're, we're doing four. And I feel like there's, there's a good chance for crossover. Uh, especially with the theme. Like you're saying. Yeah. The theme, it's so like, we're looking at It's already a little ones. narrow. So we're, we've tried certain ones. And anyways. <laughs> my game. <laughs> is dead of winter. <laughs> so, I'm going to say. You like this game. Yeah. <laughs> So we just we just talked about it while we both like it. Yeah. So now it's back to you again. 
Oh, oh man. man. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with Betrayal Legacy. I'm gonna say love it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's also because we just started playing it and mm-hmm. we hadn't tried it before and it's like the new game for us right now. But yeah, it's one we're playing with our family and it's like another one that I have liked that has the story element. Something mm-hmm. unexpected things happen and just haunted house, whatever. And I was like, ooh, like something crazy happens. Yeah. And like we're all trying to figure out what's going on. And yeah, we can't really say much about it without trying to spoil it. Without spoiling it too much, yeah. But if you're familiar with Betrayal, it's mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Just legacy version. Yeah, I... Uh, again... <laughs> Just, I'm just going to say, Betrayal Legacy, what do you think? <laughs> I think you love it. Yeah! So anyways. <laughs> oh, man. It was like you got all of them out before me. <laughs> I went first. How did this happen? <laughs> but anyways, for, uh, for my love of game also, it's Betrayal Legacy. It's sitting right over there. Yeah! I'm probably going to play it right after this. <laughs> but um, it, I don't know if people will be like, how can you love it? You only, we only played the yeah. intro. Because there's, the yeah, there's the prologue and then 13 chapters. Um, we only played the prologue, so I don't know if people were like, well, how do you know you love it? If Just you that excitement once, but, from but we, things. Yeah, but we played uh, Legacy games before, yeah. and we've played regular Betrayal, and the Baldur's Gate Betrayal, uh-huh. and all those stuff. So we know how the game goes, and uh, I guess the regular Betrayal had like some issues with like certain things could happen where it's like, oh, the haunt starts, and it's like, oh, never yeah, mind, some, the game's over. Yeah, it was some weird yeah. stuff. And the Baldur's Gate, I think, fixed some of that, mm-hmm. but it was themed in like, D&D mm-hmm. type of stuff. And... Uh, yeah, when this one, when they came out, I didn't get it right away, but I just felt like it's, it's October and I want to play with, with my brother and my parents and everything and, and just the whole Legacy thing because I don't think they tried Legacy before and just, yeah, just from the prologue just itself, like, uh-huh. you know how Legacy games work, like, something changes, you put stickers here and there and uh-huh. the story, I feel like the story is what's making it yeah. crazy and, yeah, just, again, we can't really say anything without spoiling anything, uh-huh. but they're just already in the prologue. We were all at the end of it just like laughing, going, That's crazy, y'all! I can't wait to play the next one! Uh, it, was, yeah. it was a cool game. Uh, <laughs> well, so that's all for mine. To round out the list, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I chose the Big Book of Madness. <laughs> I'm going to say you hate it. <laughs> for all the reasons we talked about already. <laughs> We had the same four games. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's what's crazier also is um oh. before we weren't sure how we we're gonna do a list and we were gonna do maybe three games, but then we just like, oh let's put four. It did it in um, secret too. <laughs> and we did it secretly and made the list. And actually I just changed mine at the very end. Because when you were looking like, oh maybe this game you or that game. Some other one. I had my list set, but when I was scrolling through also, I was like, I forgot about the game. <laughs> it was Fury of Dracula. I had something else as the game I wanted uh-huh. to try. But when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I really want to try this game. So at the very end I changed uh-huh. it and our list are exactly the same. And for the exact same positions, also, uh-huh. we hate, All we exact like, categories. love, hate, and want to play the same exact four games uh-huh. in this theme. Yes. Uh, so we, yeah. Uh, if you couldn't tell, we play a lot of games together. Yeah. And I guess we know each other pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's the, the games we love uh-huh. for this yeah. theme, for uh, Halloween or horror type yeah. games. Um. Yeah, we'll try to do some other ones for different things, especially with the holidays coming. Yeah. We'll try to do like one maybe for Thanksgiving, like food games, and then Christmas games or holiday games. Mm-hmm. But then even throughout the year, it, it could holidays, it could just be for stuff. yeah holidays, but it could also just be something just like because. like um like it could be mechanisms. It could be like yeah. worker placement, like uh, like my, which of those you like the yeah. mechanic? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the first episode of this series, so I hope you all liked it. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.